Hey Cheryl, um, so I'm going to tape those exercises again. It may not be exactly what we did the other day, but it doesn't really matter. There's no hard and fast rules. We're going to start uh, with all the practice that we did before. I'm going to demonstrate what I want you to do and then you're going to do it, right? Okay, so I'm going to get my bell out of the way for now. I'm just going to set it right there. The first thing we have to do is practice our hinge, all right? So my feet are a little bit wider than hip width. Uh, remember uh, that your stance needs a little bit be a little bit wider because I don't want your butt, I don't want your shoulders coming up and your butt not going down, right? So we want we want a wider stance so the butt stays below the shoulder level. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. I'm simply gonna touch the chair behind me five times, all right? So I'm touching, standing up, there's one, touch, two, touch, three, touch, four, touch, that was five, all right? It's your turn. Always, this is your first set, so I know you don't need any extra rest, but if you need extra rest, never start a set before you're ready, okay? So here we go, your turn. You're gonna stand in front of your chair or your bench, whatever it is, hip width apart, and we're gonna hinge back and down, touch, stand up, reach back, touch, stand up, reach back, touch, Stand up, squeeze your butt at the top, right? Two more times, stand up, reach, stand up. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, only we're gonna let our arms come out in front. So there's no weight of the bell pulling our arms out in front, so we're gonna have to do that ourselves, right? But when we swing, we never pull the bell out in front of us. The bell's gonna come out on its own. Our job is to push it behind us, and that's what this drill is about. This drill is about now our hands are out here, we have to push our hands behind us, all right? So I'm gonna do five of them, and then you're gonna do them. So I'm gonna start with my hands out, actually, all right? So I'm gonna reach back, touch, stand up. So my arms are shoulder width, everything's tight. I'm gonna reach back, stand up. I have to reach, right? I'm pushing down and back to reach the chair, stand up. I'm reaching down and back. Stand up. All right, that was five. So no weight yet, right? We're just practicing the movement of the swing. That's a swing without any weight. So here we go. I'll do it with you. We're going to start with our hands out in front. We're going to reach back. Stand up one. Reach back. Stand up two. Reach back. Stand up three. Reach back. Stand up four. Reach back. Stand up five. And we're done. Okay, so as we know, the swing's not going to wait for us. So we're going to do the same thing, only a little bit faster. All right, I'll do it first, and then I'll do it with you, because this is the timing of the actual swing. All right, this is how fast it happens. I'm going to go first, okay? So my hands are out in front, and I'm going to do five reps. I'm not going to count them, I'm just going to do them. not ready to do them, then stop the tape and just rest as long as you need to. But they're a little bit faster, all right? Starting out with hands out in front, we're going to do five reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. We're done. All right. All right, now we're going to use the bell. We're going to start with those deadlifts. We're going to get used to having some weight in our hands, all right? So we are gonna put that bell right down underneath us, right? We're gonna deadlift the bell, all right? I know you're really good at these because you've been practicing them, so it's not gonna be a problem. The movement is the same as the swing. Just watch me, we're hinging back and down, our knees get soft, I'm gonna get a good grip on my bell. I don't have to look at it, I know it's there. My chest is forward, my, my shoulders are above my butt. I'm gonna stand up and contract everything, and I'm gonna set the bell down. That was one deadlift, right? I'm gonna demonstrate three of them and then you're gonna do yours. Hopefully you'll have plenty of rest when I'm done and I'll do the next set with you. All right, so I'm gonna deadlift three times. One, touch, two, touch, three, and then set the bell down. Three deadlifts, all right? You ready to go? All right, here we go. Hinging back and down, good grip on our bell. 
One, touch. Two, touch. Three, and we're done. Okay, so I purposely put the bench behind me today because I wanted to make sure that I was doing pretty much the same thing that you were doing, all right? So we're gonna swing. There's a lot of other things we can do, but Jesus, we're already five minutes almost into this workout, and we've gotta to get to those swings because that's really the important part. We don't wanna to get to them when we're too tired. Okay, so I'm gonna step forward a little bit more because I don't want my bell to hit the bench behind me. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate the swing to you. Before I do that, I'm just gonna remind you, remember this drill, we reach back, we stand up, we reach back, we stand up, that's what I'm gonna do, only I have the bell in, in my hands now, all right? Reaching back is the most important part. We are not pulling the bell forward. It's gonna come forward on its own. I'm gonna do five swings, starting from a deadlift. All right, the bell is underneath me. There's my deadlift. I'm gonna hinge back and down. Here I go, reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up, one more, and I'm gonna set the bell down on the ground, okay? Woo, I'm already tired, so I can imagine how you're gonna feel. Okay, so five swings is all we're gonna do. We're gonna start from a deadlift position. Start from a deadlift position, hinging back and down, stand all the way up, squeeze your butt at the top, hinge forward here. After you reach back, or the chair seat, you're gonna stand up and squeeze your butt, right? Here we go, reach back, squeeze your butt, reach back, squeeze your butt, reach back, squeeze, reach back, squeeze, reach back, and we're done with five reps. Excellent, excellent. Woo, okay, so remember we talked about how many reps I wanted you to do? I want you to do a total of around 30 reps, okay? We've just done five, all right? So if you feel like you're starting to get the momentum after five swings, then keep going with a couple of more if we want to ride that good momentum, all right? So I'm gonna do another set, and then you're gonna do your set, okay? So again, always starting from a deadlift position. Whoops, all right, always starting from a deadlift position. I'm standing all the way up, everything's tight, my butt's contracted, my kneecaps are lifted. I'm gonna exhale sharply at the top of the swing. I'm gonna hinge forward, I'm gonna reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up. And set the bell down. That was five swings, okay? So, your turn. Five swings, if you've got enough rest, you're gonna start momentarily. I'm gonna do them with you. If not, then just pause the tape and wait until you've got a good breath and you're ready to go. If you're ready, we'll do it though. We're gonna hinge back and down. We've got a good grip on our bell. We're gonna deadlift the bell all the way to the top. We're gonna to hinge forward and reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up. Two more, one more, and set the bell down. Now, like I said, I'm gonna remind you, you can do more than five swings. If you feel like you're getting, finding a groove, feeling the bell swing, you're not pulling on it, um, so the most important part is that you're reaching back towards the chair. You're not reaching down because if you reach down, you're not creating any momentum for the bell to go forward. Let me remind you what that looks like. You're going to hear the, bell, uh, the buzzer go off in the background. I want to wrap this up. So um, this is what it looks like when you don't reach back, okay? When you just reach down. So here's our deadlift. We're going to go here. So... We're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna try and, this is not a swing where the bell goes down and we're trying to lift it. Down and we're trying to lift it. That, that's not what I want you to do. I don't want the bell to go down, I want it to go back, all right? So from here, you see how close this bell is to the top of my, of my legs? It's gonna, it's gonna stay there, you see it's right there. In fact, I'm gonna show you from the front. The bell is right there, all right? The bell's not here, I'm not, I'm not trying to lift the bell like this. I'm reaching back, reaching back, and standing up. Back and standing up. Okay, you ready for your next set? <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. All right, so 
This should be your third set, I think. All right, so if you're not feeling the bell start to swing, you're probably just letting the bell come down and trying to lift it up. So it's a back and forth motion, back and forth motion. I'm gonna stand this way, um, so uh, uh, maybe it'll be a different view for you. Um, okay, so I'll do this next set. I'm gonna do five reps, and then you're gonna do five, I'll do them with you. And then we're going to wrap it up and you can continue on and do the remainder of your swings on your own. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate it from this angle. Stand up, squeeze everything. I'm gonna hinge forward. I'm gonna reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up. See how the bell is going back and up? One more for me, and set the bell down. Okay, so you can see the bell is going back and up. It's okay if you hit your butt. In fact, it's good if you hit your butt. If you're not hitting your butt, then maybe that's, the bell's going down. Okay, here's my last set with you. I'll let you on your own to do redo any part of this or just continue on with sets of five swings or maybe even more, maybe seven or eight swings. All right, last set together. We're gonna start with a deadlift all the way up. Everything's tight. We're gonna hinge forward and go. Reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up, reach back, stand up, and back, stand up. One more, and set the bell down. All right, there you go. I think that tape lasted, this video is lasting a little bit more than 10 minutes. Um, and fingers crossed that uh, that helps you out a bunch. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.